another air bubble pack box from Evic. Oh, that's a lot of damage! Welcome back, Gilly Crew, to another one of these fun unboxings. As you can see, it is an Evic because it is awfully taped. You can't see it. Well, that was great. Um, but yeah, it was an awful tape box when it came. I just lifted it up to show you guys how bad it was. But I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to unbox something. I know it's in this. Um, they are a real company that has turned to Airsoft and producing Airsoft products. They are known as Strike Industries. So let's get into this. And our lovely paper. And it looks like more of it. And then looks like even more of it. At least it's packaged well in there. Is that the right way? No? It's upside down. Okay, so we'll we'll do this. And then you guys can see the branding on there. Obviously, the box is not the company I mentioned because, as I said, they are now Airsoft, so they have to have Airsoft people help them out. Whee! So, that's the right way? Yeah. So we're going to flip this down. And then we're going to, maybe. Hey, where are the white women at? Show you guys first. Wee. So in this box here, let me move that lid. We have our... Strike Industries Airsoft AK-74 track, tracks, T-R-A-X, with a little fancy rail dust cover, their licensed M-Lock rail, and then you get a fancy high cap mag, beautiful, right? So... As you guys can see, it actually has no wobble compared to most straight out the box AKs. So we'll get rid of that. And then you get your little warning labels and you get your little made in China and you get your hop up thing that falls just right off the thing. And then you get an awesome little Ziploc of BBs. So like every video, I'm going to do a layout video, but we are going to get rid of this mag and put a better one in, more suitable for a beautiful gun. But this is by OEM by SEMA. It is top wired, which that may not stay that way long. So make sure you guys stay tuned later. And also it does have, if I can remember how it does it, it has a push button that makes this fold. So now it is CQB ready. Does it lock though? Not very well, but that's okay. I might be doing it wrong. It's a new toy. It actually is pretty sturdy, so that's fine. We'll switch that back out. It locks back into place. Adjustable stock on it. I'm not going to tell you how many points because I always mess that up somehow. But we will do our overlay video and I may even plug in a battery and let you guys hear what it sounds like.
also another couple fun facts that I forgot to mention. This is a Tokyo Marui gearbox, as well as their uh, key mod rail. Sorry, it's a long delay there. Uh, it does have a textured grip as well. So then it actually is smooth on the hand. It's actually a lot bigger, so it's more control. It does have that nice little quick select switch. And it does have an aggressive muzzle brake, which is the orange tip, which we'll keep that on for the sake of YouTube. And then, like I said, that plenty of battery space up in the buffer tube where it actually can feed into the rail and goes in there. Since that is a two-part rail, you can even upgrade that, I'm sure, to real wood if you wanted. But let's do a quick battery test. Okay, so... Got it in a safe direction. No mag loaded, no BBs have been in this whatsoever. Safe mode. Semi. Into the mouth. <laughs> nice. And if I can do it one handed, full auto. <laughs> Inside there is your little hop up adjustment. Of course, it's a little slider. So. That is the Strike Industries AK-74 Tracks.